Dear Paul, I am very happy to meet you in important phenomena called the inductive effect. If you look to this molecule, it is just a carbon hydrogen. If you, it is the same molecule, but you induced here oxygen and the same if you have halogen or nitrogen or sulfur. What happened here? Oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. So it withdraws the electrons. That's why it becomes a negative charge because it becomes more rich in electrons. And this becomes more poor in electrons. That's why it will be positive charge. Withdrawing of electrons will be, will be drastically decreased to the second carbon drastically decreased to the third carbon and uh, practically no withdrawal of electron from any next carbons. That's why we call it distance effect. This phenomena affect on chemical reactions but also affect in the NMR. Why? Because the normal CH3 or CH2 is around, for example, here around 0.9. But when you induce the electronegativity, this CH2 will be much less in electrons. And when it is less in electrons, then the chemical shift will be deshielded. So you can imagine it decreased, it increased the delta from 0.9 to 3.6. Right? And it affects the molecule because it makes the molecule polar while this is non-polar. From this point of view, it comes the third effect, which is about polarity of solvent. Now I can ask you, hexane, benzene, toluene, all are carbon hydrogen. It means is non-polar or polar? Yes, right, non-polar. It is non-polar solvent accordingly. It extracts non-polar compounds. Now you have oxygen in the middle. Then it is started to be medium in polarity. If the oxygen at the end it is polar because it is like last uh, OH. And when it is water, it positive and the negative, it is ionic. This is the most polar solvent. From we moved to second important phenomena, which is not distance effect, but it is the same effect in all the benzene ring. If, for example, if the OH attached directly to the benzene ring, oxygen is rich in electron, it means it will donate the electron to the benzene ring. According to the donation, we call it electron donating group or positive R, because it makes the benzene ring rich in electron. Remember that long pair of electron is equal, negative charge is equal bond. That's why when the freedom for electrons donated in this direction, it will make a bond. And now, Two bonds, two double bonds beside each other is not possible in organic chemistry. So the only way that this double bond much must be moved to this carbon and it will give negative charge. Now it will be the same in all carbon and it is not distance effect because it will go through the whole benzene ring. So the negative charge will be moved here to make a bond while the, ne while the bond will make negative charge. Negative charge bond. Bond the negative charge. Again, the same here. Negative charge will be bond, bond will be negative charge. And finally, it will go negative charge bond and bond the negative charge. So you get the same structure, but with opposite double bond, right? And the same could be applied with NH2 if it directly attached, the same rule, SH directly attached to the benzene ring. While now, my question, if the oxygen is separated from the benzene ring by carbon, now I can hear you, you remember inductive effect. Oxygen will be more electronegative, it will withdraw the electron. So now, it will withdraw the electron from the benzene ring. Accordingly, benzene ring will be poor in electron, and the poor in electron means a positive charge. So we need to, it, the oxygen will withdraw the electron, it will be negative charge. And the bond will be moved here, and when it is moved, it will be boring electron, which means positive charge. So, in continuation, the bond will be moved here, it will be positive charge here. The same, this bond will be moved here, then it will be positive charge. And you induct at the end with the same phenomena, but opposite double bond. So, when you compare now oxygen 
uh, the negative will be also and the bar, the also and the bar will have negative charge. So when you have any electrophile like NO2, it will be reacted in the negative charge in bar and also. That's why we call it electron donating group in also bar position or also bar directing group. While the opposite way here is positive charge in also and bar, if you have electrophile, it will not be reacted here because NO2 is positive charge. So how it can react with the positive? Right? And the same for electron withdrawing group is the cyanide group. Now you can understand. Nitrogen separated from carbon, from benzene ring by carbon, so it will withdraw the electrons. However, only one exceptional, if the benzene ring attached to NO2, so the nitrogen attached to the benzene ring, but there is another two oxygen here. So these two oxygen will affect the nitrogen and in total, it will be electron withdrawing group. So from this point of view, it affects also in NMR. Why? For electron rich places, it will be the opposite of inductive effect. It means it will be de-shielded or shielded. No, it will be shielded. It means if the van in normal aromatic is at 7, this will be at 6.3. So all rules are matching with each other. Thank you very much for your kind attention and see you again. Assalamu alaikum. Bye bye.